these scenes were just draw droppingly gorgeous and i love the fact that you use the practical effects in this as opposed to all cgi which i mean you could have but you didn't so it was great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and these monsters that you had they almost looked like they were completely flipped inside out could you walk us through the process of creating these monsters mm -hmm. and how much influence you had and in, in the process i'd love to hear about that yeah sure i mean i you know right from the very beginning i, I you know i was i, I was um dedicated to um creating something that that i felt i hadn't really seen before in a movie i i spoke ab about the concept to craig and also to our production designer the idea was this creature or this entity is trying to come into the world and it's trying to it's using this machine to try and try and manifest itself in this in this plane of the existence of the material world and it's going into people's bodies and it's trying to understand and it's trying to 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 um to successfully enter into this realm and um so the, you know what would that look like what would these these attempts look like Cause there were also there was also a failed experiment component to it anyway so ended up talking a lot to um to Daniel Baker, who's our, our, our effects uh, guy, and you know, tried uh, different things, and sketched out different ideas. I think at, at one point, um, I told him that if we could picture a person in a blender and just kind of press, uh, <laughs> like pulse, a couple of times, what would that look like? And I, of course, I also wanted the, the these different these creatures to all look different uh, like the same but different yeah so the, so there's a lot of talk and and um i like that idea of um kind of this 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 idea. and the person it's almost like the the this entity or whatever doesn't understand the human anatomy doesn't understand that the eyes and the mouth and how the nose functions it just, it just it's just trying to come out somehow out of this body and um so that's why there's duplicated heads and duplicated eyes and there's, there's, there's it's like kind of kind of like a like like an, a bit of an abomination um so i you know the only thing was to i wanted them to move in a very particular way uh so i had uh, i i hired uh, people who were into yoga who could move their bodies a certain way and um i wanted uh, kind of like a budo dance move, move inspired by budo dancing i don't know if you're familiar with that no, not. it's yeah if you, you can look at it and you can google it it's a japanese budo dancing that's a, a way of moving um the, it's a it, it, in the end it was too complicated to um to be able to do effectively um uh but uh the idea was there, so you can kind of see hints of it, but uh, kind of focused on the look, and uh, that's what we got.